The federal conservative party is coming under fire this morning for releasing a spoof heritage minute. Some prime ministers were good, some great, but never had one been fined for breaking the law while in office. Until one day. So there's just a little snippet of the video that first came out on Saturday night in which the Conservatives poke fun at Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and various ethical and conflictual breaches. Historica Canada is the nonpartisan organization that makes the famous His Heritage Minutes in this country and it is demanding the party take the video down. It's not ruling out legal action if it does not. Michael Serapio was tracking all of the story beginning at the very beginning beginning mm -hmm. with uh, the video that sparked the controversy. The video that sparked the controversy and you know what's, what's interesting about this is that you know every Canadian knows the, sure. the, the videos upon which this parody is based. Uh, it's very well known again to Canadians here. Uh, in fact take a look at a heritage moment that people have grown up with. Now this is the story of Winnie the Pooh essentially recalling how the Canadian black bear touched off the children's story franchise and this is just a one vignette uh, of many which a whole generation has grown up with. In fact there are about 80 heritage moments in total, small videos that depict important moments or people in our shared history. In addition to the vignette you're seeing here about the Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh, there's also vignettes about, uh, for example, Sir John A. Macdonald, Jacques Cartier, Laura Secord, and Need I Say Burnt Toast. But <laughs> in comes this past weekend a conservative parody, you see it right here, a very partisan video, video that borrows heavily on the feel that makes heritage moments unique and the organization behind these moments is not happy. Uh, let's take a look one more time, a bit more of the conservative parody that was posted this weekend. The, sorry, I'm just trying to reorder, reorder the thoughts. We, um, Canada had never seen a government break so many federal ethics and conflict of interest laws before. Justin Trudeau had made history, unfortunately. Now that video was posted on the social media feeds of the Conservative Party almost immediately. Uh, Historica Canada, which is the organization behind the real heritage moment, said that they're not happy with it. They don't like the partisan feel of this mm -hmm. ad. And so it was deleted for a time. The Conservative Party took down this ad, but then reposted it with a disclaimer not enough, according to it's Historica not enough. Canada. So what is the organization preparing to do? Well, you know, Anthony Wilson-Smith, he's the CEO and president of Historica, and he says the, the organization may have no choice but to take the Conservative Party to court over this parody. Take a look at the statement here uh, from Historica Canada. They say, uh, while the minute has a disclaimer that makes it clear it is not produced by Historica Canada, it is counter to the spirit of the minutes. Our reputation for nonpartisan, fact-based programs is key to our support. The production in question is opposite of that. And and let's pick up on that point there. Uh, again, Historica is worried about their reputation here because they rely on both public and private money to fund what they do to celebrate and remind people of uh, Canadian history. And it is worried that this parody will actually damage its reputation. And so on Historica's part, they don't all they want this taken down, but they say that if it's not, they may have no choice but to take them to court because if it looks like they don't challenge the, the messaging, they might actually be seen to be supporting the messaging, and that is exactly what Historica Canada does not want. Okay, to watch to see if there's to further watch. movement on this today. Thanks very much. You're welcome.